It only takes a few seconds to install S3 Flow Shield. You install it as a WordPress plugin, and then you can use it either in WordPress or on any HTML site that you wish to. So once you see it's installed here, they're going to ask you for your registration key, which you get when you check out and sign up for S3 Flow Shield today. And then you're going to use your Amazon S3 key, your secret key. You put that in here so it can communicate very easily. What's really cool here is if you put all your videos for a certain site into one bucket, you can just put that bucket name in here, and by default, it will automatically put it there. Of course, there's some excellent documentation here. If you wish to overwrite it on a link-by-link -link or file-by-file -file basis, they give you an example down here of exactly how you can do it. Just some other quick stuff here. You can set your URL expiration time to how many seconds you wish to, and at any time for any file, you can overwrite it by just putting in one little extra line there. And this will just say, this is how long these files are valid until they're expired, and they create new URLs so people can't pass it around. If you want to make the file downloadable, you can specify, again, a global file anchor text that says, hey, if I don't specify it, just use whatever I got listed up here. You can tie it into some feeds here, and then whenever you're done, you click Update Options. So those are the main options of S3 Flow Shield. You can also see here they have player options. Okay, this is for your audio and your video player. You can set some global options. Again, you can set these on a case-by-case -case basis for each video, but you don't have to. This is if you don't set anything, then by default it'll be these things. And of course, you get a commercial player to flow player, which typically costs a lot of money on its own, but it comes bundled with S3 Flow Shield. And then you can put your own logo in there and brand it, and you can specify pretty much anything you want to on video. The other cool thing that S3 Flow Shield does is it builds video sitemaps for you. If you don't know the value of a video sitemap, then boy, you should look into that because it's wonderful from an SEO perspective, gets you a lot of traffic, and all you got to do to create a video sitemap with S3 Flow Shield is select Yes here and then click Update Options. Okay, there's also some advanced options here which we won't get into in this video, but you can take a peek in there. Everything's well documented, and if you ever need any more documentation, you can click here as well. So that's some of the general settings. Now let's show actually S3 Flow Shield in action. You can use this in both WordPress or HTML. I'm just going to show you the simple way in WordPress. I go to click Add New Post because I want to share some new content, maybe put a link in, maybe this is a membership site, whatever. So let's start with a video. How do we do a video? Well, there's this little button you push here. You click this, and now you're just going to have to put the URL. So you go over to your S3, your Amazon S3, where you've uploaded your stuff, and then you open up your bucket. In this case, this one is the one I'm going to use, and then I have a folder here. So you can put it in a folder, you can put it directly in the, in the bucket. If I put it in the folder, I just have to specify in the URL, the bucket. It's in this folder, slash, and then the name of the file, okay? So, for example, I can do this one, flowplayeroptions.mp4. So I just type in that, flowplayeroptions.mp4. Okay, there's my URL, that's my video. If I want to customize my video, I can customize it and select these options here, but I'm just going to use the global options I configured when I first set up S3 Flow Shell. So I'm just going to click Insert Shortcut. Boom. That's done. And actually, if we publish this here, and now if we view Post, you will see that I have embedded this file. Oh, awesome, right? That's pretty cool because I just embedded a file that I could share with my members or whatever, no problem. And also, if we look at the source code here, if we go to View Page Source, Say somebody wants to try to get that URL to pass it around or download it. Here's what they actually get. Do uh, you think anybody can pass around this right here? No, it's encrypted. Okay, so this is how it protects you if you embed video. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's get our URL again and right here, because this is the one we're going to use again for video, but we're going to do it as a download instead. So I can click on S3 Flow Shield Controls. We type, we put in the URL here. And this time we'll just say, hey, we want, this, we want them to download this as a file, not as a video. So I'm going to click File and insert the short code there. Okay, now we click Update. And now if we view Post, you will see that it says Download File here. Okay, and if somebody tries to right-click and copy this link location, put it in a new browser, this is what it looks like, and it's only valid for 60 seconds. Then it'll create a brand new URL. So that way nobody could ever pass around the URL. And even if they got the file URL and deleted the extra stuff and tried to give it just to the bucket, they still couldn't share it. So that's one way that you could do a file. And of course, this is download file, but you could specify any text you want for any link you want. All right, so that's how you do it with a file. What about an audio? So I uploaded this MP3 to my Amazon account. I haven't changed any of the permissions or anything. All I need is the audio content that MP3 name. In this case, I didn't put it in a folder, so it's even easier. If I go to my post, and this time I click on this little button, 
and instead of selecting video I select audio and I type in the name of my audio file there and then I can even customize my audio settings I can say make it autoplay yes or no yada 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 and I click insert shortcode now if we publish this post and view it you will see that I have embedded the audio file just right here and I can click and play this and it'll start playing and that's it. You can actually do even more stuff with this and make this player look exactly how you want, the width and height, etc. But that's S3 Flow Shield. Not only is it the ultimate protection, so people can't steal your stuff and pass it around and rob you of money, but it's also the ultimate protection of your bandwidth because you don't want to have to pay more for hosting than you need to on Amazon S3. And now that's never an issue. Plus, you can do video like a pro like never before. You can do audio like never before. You can create any kind of link and protect it like never before. And it's so easy you just saw me do it in a few seconds video site maps also another thing click a button done you can do RSS feeds all kinds of stuff and it's just a very simple thing excellent documentation we have excellent support so I urge you to try it out if you like it keep it if not contact us at support and we'll give you your money back so try it out right now go to check out with credit card or check out with PayPal fill out a few things there's no upsells or anything you can literally fill out a form download it and be using it within minutes from now so thank you very much